to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, today, <laughs> I got up and I thought we were going to have a sunshiny day. I don't know. I didn't see the weather report, I guess. But anyway, it's been rainy and really kind of chilly out there today. But you know what? We're going to make the best of it. So we're going to have our sunshine inside today. <laughs> y'all, we are going to be making a super easy dessert today. And it will be wonderful to have on your Easter buffet. And it's something you can prepare the day ahead, which really is a time saver for you. But yet it is so delicious. So I'm going to show you what we're going to need before we start making it. Now this is called a brownie chocolate trifle. And boy, is it good. I've already made it one time as a test run. All right. Now, the first thing you have to have are brownies, of course. And you can make your brownies if you like. There's, there's no problem. You would make this in a nine by 13 pan. But you can also take a shortcut and get the brownie bites. And they have them at Sam's and most of your grocery stores in the um, department with all the cookies and all that. And then instant chocolate pudding, and Cool Whip, Whip Topping. So it doesn't matter what brand you use. I use the Walmart brand, but Whip Topping. So that is all. That's all you have to have. And y'all, it's so easy. So we'll be back in just a minute, and I'll just show you exactly how we're going to do this. I want to tell you, we're going to start um, assembling this, but before we do, if you make your own brownies in the 9 by 13, just cut it in half and use one half for one layer and one half for the next layer. But if you take a shortcut like I'm doing, <laughs> that is a dozen brownie bites. And so all you have to do then is just crumble them up. Hey, it doesn't get much easier than that. So a dozen for each layer. Yeah, a dozen for each layer. All right. The first thing we're going to do now is to put these brownie bites in our trifle bowl. Okay, we've got our pudding made here. Your first batch of pudding? My first batch of pudding. Okay, here we go. Just kind of push that a little bit to the side so that it kind of shows on your trifle bowl. Okay. Y'all, my bowl's a little bit big, so it has to spread out just a little bit further. Okay. Okay, so now that's our first layer of chocolate pudding. Okay. Okay, our third layer is going to be whipped topping. So we just take that, kind of push it out to the side. Just make your layer all the way around. Y'all, this is gonna be so good. And all your chocolate lovers are gonna kiss you mm -hmm. for making this. Oh, y'all, it's so good. And I think the wonderful thing is that you can do it the day ahead because it really is better if you let it sit overnight, because everything kind of gets acquainted with one another. <laughs> All right, that is our first layer now. So we have our brownies, our chocolate pudding, and then that is our whipped topping. Okay, now, on these brownie bites, y'all, these are so easy, they just crumble right up, and you just kind of Crumble them. <laughs> That's what you do. You crumble right, them. We're going to put now our next layer and start the same 
the same process. We put the brownie bites in there, the brownies, and always push them out to the side of your bowl because that kind of gives you that layered look that you expect in like a trifle. All right, now I made the, the next layer um, of pudding. And this is the 3.9 ounce, which is the small one. So I knew you would want to know that. And I made it right by the, by the box. It calls for two cups of milk. And that's exactly what we put in it. KK, help me with that. My non-cooker. I can stir. But she can stir really good. <laughs> So we just made that um, that pudding with a with a, a whisk, y'all. We didn't have to even hook up the mixer to do it. So this is super easy, isn't it, KK? Yes, and it's I think so good. KK can make this one. Oh, I will have to tell y'all something funny. You know, we talk about following directions on the on the box, well, Kayleen and Katrina were making a cake one time. And they had not made a cake before, but they decided they would try themselves to do one. So they got the cake mix out and they were getting ready to make it. And Katrina started reading the directions on the side and it said it would make two nine inch layers and Katrina looked at KK and she said, wow, do you know how high this cake is going to be? <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> That's a true story. I know that is a true story. <laughs> we were wondering if we had a pan that deep. <laughs> oh, Lordy. All right. <laughs> and this next layer here. I had forgotten about that story till all of a sudden when I said about the rest of following the instructions on the box. <laughs> oh, Lordy. They have learned better since, so I will tell you that. <laughs> they cook a little bit. As long as it's not too complicated. All right. Woo-wee. Okay, okay, look at that. Y'all, this is super easy. And everybody's going to think, wow, I can't believe you made that. Went to all that trouble. So let them think you went to a lot of trouble. All right, just take your spoon and do like that. Oh, y'all, look how pretty that makes it. Kind of like a little peak on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah. Y'all, this is a dessert now you can get real creative with. Just use your imagination. You can use um, different kinds of pudding in it. Uh, there's several that would be complimentary. Um, you can even crush up a candy bar and put in between the layers. Uh, the lady that gave me this recipe is really called for Heath Bars, which all my family can't have Heath Bars now. Y'all been watching me long enough, you know we got nut allergies in this family. And so I got some of these little mini chocolate chips, and I got the kind that are non-allergenic, and I'm just going to sprinkle some just just on top, just enough to kind of decorate it a little bit. Oh, y'all, yeah. it looks so pretty. And you said they could even use different flavors of brownie. Yeah, you can... You just get creative. I mean, you can do whatever. This is just one of those desserts you could just <laughs> go crazy with. You could just make all kind of layers. So y'all, that is a beautiful dessert. Now I want to show you something. Y'all look at this little olive wood cross. Is that not beautiful? My sister Judy, the youngest in the family, just went to the Holy Land. And that's what she brought me as a uh, it's just a, a little gift in memory of her trip over there. She said, oh, it was just awesome to go to all the places where she knew Jesus had walked and where he had stood and where he had ministered. And what a wonderful time of year to go, any time. 
but especially right here close to Easter. And so I pray that this coming week that you'll have a good week, just filled with special memories with your family. And it's what we call Holy Week. Every day we're leading up to the death and crucifixion, but more importantly, the resurrection of Jesus. And so have a good time with your family. Whatever you do, just be together. Just have that good time. And everybody, shine for Jesus.